Welcome, welcome back. Healthcare is top of mind for everyone as we cope with the coronavirus pandemic. Yeah, U.S. Surgeon General Jerome Adams is one of the minorities leading the charge against the fight of COVID-19, and he has ties to Indiana. Wish TV's multicultural reporter Katira Winfrey has more. As a nation in a health crisis, we often look to the experts for direction and reassurance. Every day, members of the president's coronavirus task force addresses the nation. One of the minority members on the team is U.S. Surgeon General Jerome Adams. The president and the American people need you as our new Surgeon General of the he United He was sworn States. into that position in 2017. We know that people with underlying medical conditions over the age of 60 are at highest risk. Before the coronavirus pandemic, the American people have seen his work fighting the opioid epidemic and reviewing how community health impacts economic growth. But for many Hoosiers, the man now considered the nation's doctor, they remember him from a time before. Adam served as the Indiana Health Commissioner right here in this building. He was first assigned to the role in 2014 by then Governor Mike Pence. He earned his medical Medical degree at Indiana University School of Medicine. He later served as a professor of clinical anesthesia at the university and was a staff anesthesiologist at Eskenazi Health. As Indiana State Health Commissioner, he worked closely with then Governor Pence to fight the HIV outbreak in parts of the state. And then he switched over to heroin, and now he's a 23-year-old HIV addict. Now, he, along with so many others, are fighting an outbreak of a different kind, coronavirus. In a recent tweet, he mentioned the growing need to flatten the curve to help slow the virus's spread, specifically calling out so-called emerging hotspots like New Orleans, Chicago, Detroit, L.A., Miami, and Indianapolis. Unfortunately, we are likely to see more deaths. We have not hit the peak of this epidemic. That was Katira Winfrey reporting. The U.S. Surgeon General said Indianapolis does not have to be a growing hotspot if we all practice social distancing.